Uh, hi, this is our DAS project, and you see my project that named is SE380. And as you see on the screen, this is my pro um, school number. Okay, our project aim is at e commerce. Customers will be able to advertise their product to sell, and other users will see the detail of the product. And if liked, then we'll be able to buy it. As you see on the screen, a user can register the system to the system and after register he or he, uh, she can log in it as you see on the screen this register screen and this is our login screen we will have some product types like a computer and a mobile phone and we will list them on the main screen when one of the products in the list is clicked then detail of the product will be seen in the detail we will show all details of the product and images and the customer will be able to share the product link with his or her friends or on social media you see you will see a search bar on the top the customer can search for a product with its name price or uh, one of the spec specifications also the customer can advertise his or her own product and can add product images the customer can update his or her information in that project okay let's look at the folders part as you see on the screen i will use webstorm and uh, you see the folders on the left side and uh, this are package json which uh, the dependence uh, which will uh, uh, hold the dependencies and dev dependencies libraries in it as you see the libraries names and also their uh, version numbers and our scripts will start our project with that android and for android and ios for ios pod will install for ios clean android assemble will uh, release an um, android and start test lint okay as you see this is the project name let's continue on the left side you see android folder ios folder and node modules this is the uh, node modules folder uh, which uh, you can install them with after downloading that project you can install them with npm install or install or if you want to use yarn you can write yarn install after enter that it will start to download the pro, uh, download the libraries of written in the dependencies and dev, dev dependencies and it, it will put them all of them to the node modules folder okay when you write yarns android or when yarn android or when you write npm run on Android or npm android it will start to build the project and open in the emulator as you see on the project it will install let's wait it okay okay and it connected to debugger as you see on the screen this is our out pages this is the login pages and this is the register pages when we start our project it will look at the index.js and in index.js it will look at the app.js and it will open navigation container what's navigation container this is the react native uh, library react navigation we use sixth version of the react navigation and when you open the react navigation it's in the folder of the navigation part it will uh, install the container stack and it will start to install the screens let's con uh, let's continue first of all let's uh, see the folders in the left side you see the source folder which we will put all our project in that folder and this is assets folder it will uh, put the CSS's and images here as you see CSS's and components i will explain it constants navigation 
and React navigation part, I mean the screens will be here, tops and uh, I mean uh, the navigation part will be here, tops and stacks, as you see that stacks navigations, tops navigation, and the parent of the uh, of the navigations, navigation container, J JS, as you see on this right side. And this will Redux, which will hold all uh, sales states, which all the components can reach it. That's the Redux. And the screens will be in our screens folder. Okay. When we open our project, it will look at the content. It will uh, start to load container stack. Container stack will check the token, which is in the Redux part. As you see, out state token, it will check it. If it is empty, then it will open our, us, open us to out stack. And if not, it will open the main top. All in out stack, you can see the login page, login screen. As you see, in login screen, we hold the status, and the important state is is login state. If it's true, it will open login page. If false, it will open register page. Okay. Uh, I said components. What's components? As you see on the screen, we have a text input and also a view and an icon a combine. Uh, as you see, a border, icon, placeholder, holder, and uh, when we click it, we can write our name. What is component? As you see, as you know that in the development, the important thing is dry. What is dry? Dry is don't repeat yourself. It means please write one time and use everywhere because the, the maintainability of the project is so important. If you write a lot of component, a lot of uh, codes as the same as uh, same to each other, then when you want to change something, you have to change all of them. For example, as you see that there are four components which, which are the same and which each other. So if you write four times, you um, and if you want to change one part of that component, you have to change four of them. But if you use components, as you see in the left side, my text input GS, all of them is extended from that uh, component. So when you change one of the one part of that component then it will affect all of them it means i will change one time it will affect everywhere so this is component use one time uh, uh, write one time and use everywhere okay and also as you see the register button is the same as the login button which use my button js here one time and everywhere okay let's close here and let's look at the login screen as you see that in handle register it will look at the uh, status name email password and etc then if uh, they are empty then it will warn us alert us please fill your name like this for example let's click the register button then it will alert us please fill your name okay let's start to fill our name and mobile phone and email and also password that's right this then when we uh, click the register it will register to uh, us to the system then it will open the login page okay when we log in the system, as you see that we come to our main page. What is uh, there in the main pages? On the above part, you can see the search bar. When we write a search thing, for example, like this, as you see that it filters in the list. Or let's change to, or maybe price, let's write prices, okay? Or as you see it filters okay this is our search bar also in the below of that search bar uh, we have a product types which which are 
computers and mobile phones. When we click the mobile phones, as we see on the below, it changes. Also, when we click the computers, it changes the uh, products uh, on the below. This is the flat list of the React Native component, primitive components, and also you see another uh, components here. Uh, as you see, this is R1 component, and e uh, everything is extant from it. For example, on the left side, image and title and specifications and also price. So they are the same to each other. I wrote, we, I wrote only one time that a component, then uh, I used for all list. So then I want to change one of them, for example, color of the price. I change the color of the price, one of them, but everything will be affected. Okay, when we click uh, the uh, product, it will show us the detail of the product. And on the above part, you see the images. As you see, we can change the images. Also, the color of the bar are changing, as you see. Okay, and the other specifications of that and uh, the product uh, title and the etc specifications also we have a, a share button when we click it you can share with your friends or if it's uh, your uh, social media uh, media are installed like whatsapp or facebook or another thing you can share with your friend also copy the link and you can share with your friends okay when come back to uh, home pages we will list again and another page is uh, our uh, we can update our information from the user page if you want to update them you can uh, change your information from up, uh, user page and also another page is register page and customer can see the old uh, all the products which are uh, listed on the home screen also they can share they can sell their product on this uh, with uh, register uh, screen he, he will change he can ch or she can change uh, the product type for example it's written computer title when we click mobile phone as you see that mobile phone mobile phone title or computer computer and computer title let's change it you can add an image and uh, when we click the uh, image button it will open a model of the React Native and uh, you can pick up photo. Okay, let's pick up this. Okay. Okay, it will, as you see, it will um, install, uh, upload the image. Then let's uh, write Samsung on an Intel i9 and HDD and okay it's 16 inch description so good for example okay price is one dollar and when we register it click register your product is created as you see okay so, and you can add your product as you see on the screen yeah we start to sell our product we add it this is our project 